What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As usual, it's your boy here, ACG, Afro Car Guy. Um, kind of back after a little, what, about two, three week-ish hiatus. Y'all know I do too every now and then, but we are back in full swing. I'm trying to find that right. There it is. There she is. Hello. Guys, another interesting video. We are officially getting these new wheels on the Rocket Bunny 4G after, wait for it, six months, almost six months of wait time, and we finally made it. We're gonna head over to the shop right now and I'm gonna meet my brother over there who also has a YouTube channel he just started, but we'll talk about that more when we get there. But let's head to the shop, pick up these wheels, and hurry up and get them on the car because we gotta meet tomorrow, guys. So let's get to it. So you guys, that wasn't too long. We just made it to the shop. Um, we're finna check the wheels out in just a second. Like I said before, my brother just started his own YouTube channel recently. Maze, go to someone's about Skip you Rexy. What's your channel about, bro? Uh we make arts, we make cool stuff, we talk of I wasn't prepared for this, but yeah, take on my channel, Skitty yep, Rexy. Because that's how it works. His channel's gonna be in the description section below, guys. I'm gonna let you guys know if you're into storytelling, story development, character development, anything along the lines of like anime-ish or anime. I don't know. I don't want to characterize it as that, but yeah. if you're into that type of stuff, you'll love his channel. So go and give him. Yeah, I said that better. Yeah, you said I've been that doing this. Been this a lot longer, man. I'm getting used to this now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check out his channel, guys. Come on, man. You gotta be a little quicker. <laughs> I don't know how you did it so easily. <laughs> Years of experience. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit of a doll. Remember, they are my soul in box in a rectangular form. Please do not drop them. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, everybody? As y'all can probably tell, I look extremely tired. And uh, I guess I can explain why real quick. I just got back in from a real long day. Went to a, um, a first time meet being held. Actually, the next video you see, you'll see why I'm tired. So I'm recording this video before this next video comes out. In the next video, we'll, you will see why I was tired in this video. But just getting back in from a long day, nice meet up. As we let them meet, we went to get a bunch of shots. Then we just sat down and ate, chilled, talked. So um, I put up something on my Instagram saying pretty much, well, let me recap for anyone who doesn't know. Well, this is weird since this video hasn't came out yet. Okay, so long story short, from the couple seconds ago, you just watched the beginning of this video my wheels just got here and we was heading towards my shop to get them on well once we got to the shop we went to get them mounted <sighs> 2020 back at it again oh boy they didn't fit the um the hub board is too small and like i said they don't fit right now so that put a little damper on things really kept my whole vibe but i still stuck it through so uh, I put something up on my Instagram asking if you guys still want to see the wheels even though they didn't fit and I couldn't reveal it the way I wanted to reveal it actually on the car. Um, it was a landslide victory for, yeah, people want to still see the wheel reveal. So now I want to disappoint my viewers and stuff. So we are still going to take a look at these wheels and I'm still going to break them down to y'all what GMR sent me. Um, currently, we do not know who exactly dropped the ball on the, the wheel hub board if GMR um, didn't do what he said they do. We'll we'll be confirming that pretty soon and go from there. But there's really no big major deal. It should be a small fix, fingers crossed. And he should be on the car come soon enough. Just not as soon as we wanted to get them on the car. So um, they still look nice. Like I said, it's still definitely a, a butthurt feeling when you wait this long for wheels and you don't actually fit to your car, fit onto the car, even though they're literally custom built for your car. But like I said, we're not gonna throw any arrows just yet. We're just gonna sit back and um hand this civilizedly you know um just be professional and whatnot so yeah it's the name of the game guys stuff happens life goes on you know don't don't look read too deep into it all right guys the moment you all been waiting for and by a moment i mean like the next four or five minutes y'all been waiting for is finally here da -da 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 -da. what y'all think <laughs> Sorry, I could have made this more cinematic for you guys and more special. A lot's going on life-wise and other stuff-wise, but I gotta keep pushing out the content because like I said, we we're officially monetized. We we're officially making the dollar signs on our videos and we have ads and stuff now. So I gotta get the content rolling to keep giving you guys something to look at. And no matter how hard the videos get, I have to keep pushing something out because 
life still happens, whether it's good or bad, life will still continue to happen. So sadly, this is bad. Like I said, it couldn't have been on the car. It's not cinematic and it's more of a downwards reveal, but like I said, it's not always gonna be up. So we're still making we're still making lemons we're still making lemonade out of lemons. But like I said, these are the new GMR wheels. Um they are they look really, really nice. I'm definitely in love with the deep dish. The white face and then the center cap being red really makes them pop. Um, these are obviously my rears. These are the fronts. Just as clean looking too, obviously. Can't wait to see those in motion. Yeah. Like I said, freaking in love with them. So mad I couldn't get them on the car this weekend. <sighs> Life's been hard, but like I said, you just gotta keep moving forward and holding that dream. So, plan to have these on hopefully by the end of this month, hopefully by the upcoming caffeine and octane. Um, as far as specs go, give me just one second. Okay, I had to write it. Okay, I had to write it down so I didn't forget because there's a lot of numbers and letters. But like I said, these are specifically GMR GS-107 steps. And the specs, uh, the specs on my fronts are 19 by 10 with a negative 26 offset. And that gives it about a five inch lip. As you can tell, you can't really see the exact end of it since it's like got the protective stuff on it, but it's a five inch lip to the face. And I love how the center caps are um, actual metal and that plastic like my four stars. Nothing against four star, but see like I said, you can hear that. You don't get that type of ding, ding, ding from the four stars, even though, um, like I said, nothing's wrong with them. I just find that as an interesting um, detail or a touch on the wheels. And for my rears, they're 19 by 12, um, negative 72 with an eight inch lip, as you can see. Also, like I said, they got the protective lip, so you don't see the exact end of it, but it's an eight inch lip. Um, the wheels themselves, as far as like the size of them, is the same size, well width and uh, overall size is the same as my current wheel set. The only difference is the offset. The offset on these are way more negative, so when you bolt to the car, if you don't know anything about three piece wheels, the lip will make that difference to fill that gap in naturally. And same thing with these, the offsets are just way more negative versus my current plus six up front. No, current negative 19 up front, I believe, and plus six in the rear. Like I said, these are negative 72, and these are negative 26. So they should do a good job um, filling that gap on their own and getting rid of my massive three inch spacers in the rear and my half inch spacer up front, which was the overall goal when we purchased these wheels. Um, like I said, it took them about six months to get here. They currently do not fit because of the hub board being too small. We don't know where the error happened, but like I said, it doesn't fit over my current hubs. So we can't mount the wheels just yet. So sadly, it's just gonna be a little bit more of a wait, but the wheels are at least here. And um, like I said, we're gonna figure out what's going on with them. So we can help and get these on the car. Quite obviously, I went with a white face. Um, that's all we really told them the color we wanted was just a white face. We didn't really tell them to specify on the red or anything like that, but we're not, I'm not really mad about it right now. Like I said, I just wanna get the hub situation taken care of because I really do like the color combination and the overall white. Like I said, I didn't wanna stray away from the white and the, the, the massive lip really does it for me. It's really gonna tie the car together and make it look that, that much more official. Um, and we can then go to the next step of the build at that point. So the next portion of the build, as we get these wheels on the car, is to sell my current wheel setup. Those current wheel setup, that current wheel setup will go to a previous buyer of my previous and even previous wheel setup. So he'll be taking those off my hands. And that money will be, then be used to either, I gotta see how this rest of this year goes, but the plan is to then get my interior taken care of, new seats. I have a harness bar that's been sitting in my um, my, uh, my other room for a minute now. I will go show it to y'all. Um, yeah, why not? Let's go look. Let's take a look. So like I said, I bought this harness bar about a um about a uh about a year ago, maybe. You can see it's super dusty because it's just been sitting. I didn't think it would take this long to get it on there. Let's get it open real quick. I bought it off a of buddy that used to have an Evo and he was planning on using it for his, but he didn't, so he sold it to me for a good price. Um like I said literally just been sitting in here waiting to get some love. And the day is coming, the day is gonna get there, just not yet. Um, we're gonna get this on the car as well. Like I said, uh, it's just a white harness bar. Did I take everything back up? Yeah, I take that, but you can see what it is, guys. So 
Obviously, the next thing we're going to do to the car is the interior. So we're going to get some new seats, um, get the harness bar in, race bar harness uh, harnesses, um, age, gauge pod pillar for my eight. Get a pillar. The gauge pillars that go down the um, A pillar, I believe that's what it is. I, I forgot that quickly, but we're going to get some gauges in the car and we just might get a tune on it for now. And once that's set squared away, all that would be left to do is um, finalize some of my aero on the car and then we can finally start tearing the motor apart. But um, this is the, the direct next step for the car is the interior. And I said, I need this to get out and stop sitting inside a box because it's been neglected for a while now. Man, I'm so tired, guys. But that's just going about do it for this week's video, guys. Like I said, we're um, going to try to hurry up and get these wheels in the car so we get them done for hopefully caffeine and octane or probably way before then. And um, I can get these other wheels off my hands and move on from there. Again, I want to say thank you for helping me, guys. Thank you for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers and all the other stuff number-wise I needed to get the channel officially monetized. That means the world to me. And I appreciate you guys for sticking with me through the longevity of it because I said I wouldn't have made it this far without you guys and I wouldn't be building this car if it wasn't for you guys. And I'm getting kind of emotional because... I would tell y'all, life can get really, really crazy. And I'm sure a lot of people, everyone knows this. Life is life can be with sunshine and rainbows. And sometimes it can get, be a really dark place. But ultimately, all you can ever do is, and you guys are going to hate me for this, but you got to keep holding that dream, bro. You have to keep pushing through and just keep looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. No matter what, don't ever lose hope. Don't ever lose that drive. Anything you want in life, you can get it. But you have to continuously be driven it's never gonna get any easier it's never going to stop no one's coming to save you but at the end of the day just keep pushing forward that's all we can do we can't stagnate we can't stop so like i said again guys thank you so much for rocking with me you know i still don't even know what i'm truly doing with this youtube stuff but clearly i'm doing something right for you guys to watch me as often as you do to get me this far up so thank you so much and if it wasn't for y'all i wouldn't be where i'm at today i know i keep saying that but like I said, <laughs> I'll catch y'all next time. Continue to hold that dream. If you have any questions about the build or about the wheels or anything that's going on, don't be afraid to hit me up. Uh, I love answering questions about the build, but that's going to just about do it. I got to get to studying and start cooking and whatnot and get ready for the work week. So I'll catch y'all next time. Remember, hold that dream.